just how, how it flips when okay, okay. we're interacting with something. Mm -hmm. mm, then mm. we think that, uh, uh, like, we understand that neutrino is oscillating. Like, oscillating means one flavor to another flavor. Mm -hmm. Then we understand that. And uh, now we are trying to understand, like, do you have any questions? I'm just curious. I, okay. I, I collect river valleys, that's all. I was listening to your voice. Okay. <laughs> I know a lot of stuff. Then we are trying to understand like how the neutrino is interacting. And uh, we don't see, uh, because it is rarely interacting, uh, we just understand like how many neutrino interact in the near detector and how many we see in the card. So, because every 24 hour we are in 1.3 seconds, we are sending beam to the detector mm -hmm. and we are getting the interactions. But we don't see them like, uh, you will see in the far detector only one or two events, neutrino events in, in a one per day. Because most of them just pass through. Yeah, pass through. But do, because they are less interacting as I told, but they don't interact like inside the detector. So then with the detector, maybe some other particular detector means interacting. Mm -hmm. So in a one day, how you know that only one neutrino is interacting? Maybe one day nothing will happen. So how you distinguish? So we are here to separate the all the backgrounds. Background means we are our goal is to only search for the neutrino. Mm -hmm. right, so don't see we don't care of other particles. So we we'll look at the we will signal is our called as a neutrino and background is called as other particles. We'll